Hello and welcome to this short tutorial. First, import the geometry files, then just drag and drop them into the workspace. You can also customize the screen options to better suit your workflow. You can rotate, zoom in and out, and even change the background and text colors to fit your needs. Now let's move to the single bucket. We need to assign a linear velocity in the motion frame. Make sure that the x-axis points in the direction of the translation and is positioned inside the bucket. Begin with a translation motion, but you will need to calculate the time it takes for the bucket to move along the straight segment. That will give you the initial time for the first rotation motion. Calculate the final time using the arc length. Repeat the procedure for the second rotation and remember to use cumulative times. Now enable the bucket's periodicity. This step comes when you have calculated the time it takes for a bucket to complete a full loop. Add the number of buckets as well. Now create the particles. In this case I'm using the potato shape that is provided in the help menu. I defined it previously a rectangular inlet in the hooper, so I can define the inlet mass flow rate. And now let's solve the model, but first a quick view on the help manual and the different options for particles depending on the selected shape. Once you have results, create a cube region somewhere along the loop to track variables and evaluate the transfer performance. For example, this plot shows the instantaneous number of particles that you can relate to real measurements. And here we see the cumulative mass of potatoes over time. You can do the same for other variables or specific ranges like potatoes with a certain size range of interest. Another key variable is the power consumption, which you can obtain from the bucket setup. And that's it for this session. Thanks for watching.